so if you are like most people that are following me you will understand that i always questioned why take normal selfies when you can take advanced selfies and oftentimes people that see my advanced selfies they're like holy crap you took that and i'm like yeah i took that other people still believe that i took it it's not as impressive to some people and that annoys me to be honest <laughs> so how about in that case stepping it up a notch one more time and introducing aerial advanced selfies aka drone advanced selfies which is mad crazy i started experimenting with this very recently these are the results of the photographs i'm pretty happy with them i think i think they're pretty special and i'm excited to keep trying more and today i'm going to be teaching you guys how i take these advanced selfies from the sky so you can start taking your very own as well what you will need obviously you're going to need a drone with the drone comes the remote control maybe you also want a spare battery there's a rat in my backyard so there's this rat right he keeps waking me he's super cute i actually really like rats but freaking hell man i like to sleep as well man <laughs> consider the very best time of the day to be shooting these photographs just go for the safe option of golden hour as always right now it's 6 p.m and the sun is starting to set and it is looking fabulous 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 so we're gonna start shooting soon. This is the awesome source field we're gonna be shooting in today. Big open space. There are trees around, but not too many. And it is dead not windy. It is not windy is what I'm trying to say. The downside to this location is that there are bull ants everywhere or red fire ants or whatever they are. So it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt real bad, but for you guys, I'd do anything. With the poses, the same rules apply as if you're taking photos from the ground. And I always talk about this in almost every single one of my posing video. You wanna be creating curves or angles with your body. So from up above, you could choose to have one arm up and one arm down. Also having the arm down, not just straight by your body, but create an angle as well with that. So you've got two shapes going on. Your legs, lift one up, lift the other one down. Again, it's creating more angles instead of having two legs straight down, which doesn't look as good. You can also create interesting shapes with your legs such as this. Otherwise, both hands up, one bent and one straight to give variety. Since in the photographs, you're probably gonna be quite small. You wanna contort yourself in strange shapes and angles to add like an artistic flair to your photographs. Don't be shy. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but the technology we have available today literally drives my pea-sized brain insane. It's crazy. But anyway, getting into the technical aspects of this photograph, what you're gonna do first, obviously a lot of these photos are gonna be taken for Instagram and always you should be shooting portrait style Excuse me, birth. You should be shooting portrait style to take up the maximum space on the Instagram feed, which is four by five. And you can do two things if you wanna do that through your drone. Either swivel your drones, position yourself in the photograph in portrait format, or you can change the settings on your drone to be shooting in portrait mode. The way you do that is you go to, in the bottom right hand corner, there are some toggles, so you can just adjust those and just choose the settings bar and just click portrait capture there. Then you also wanna set up your drone to be shooting every five to 10 seconds intervals so that you can position yourself and readjust your poses and it keeps shooting whilst you're in there in the location so you can get as much variety of photos and then you can choose your favorite one after the photo shoot is complete make sure you're set up on photo mode then you will go to the camera icon press photo and in there you have time shoot you get to choose from five seconds seven ten fifteen twenty and so forth i go between five and ten it's just a very comfortable number the other thing is you want to make sure that your drone camera is facing directly above you otherwise it won't look as good i would say obviously all rules can be broken so if you decide that it, it does work for you 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 do you boo you do you when you're setting up the shot and the drone is already up in the air walk into frame with your remote control lie down pose yourself have a look at what you look like on the screen memorize your pose and then once you've memorized the best poses that's when i recommend you start shooting and you hide your control in some of the props that you might have or just take it out of frame then jump back into the pose from memory remember what it kind of looked like take a whole bunch allow two to three minutes to go by before you decide that that's it and you're done with the photo just to make sure that 100 percent you have all the shots you need because once you land the drone check your photos on your either the phone or the computer it's just a lot of time so just pose away as long as possible for the background of your photographs it can be anything really that is pretty <laughs> like almost anything at all grass could be nice hay fields could be nice cobblestone streets could be nice pool backgrounds half water half sand all ocean gravel sand it can be such a huge range that you choose to shoot it is completely up to you however if you don't have a huge range then this is where the props come in you have one same location i'm going to be using this grass field that i have in front of me i'm going to show you 
all the different types of photo shoots you can have from just this one location and then changing it up in the editing style as well as the outfits, props, etc, etc. These are all the props I'm working with today. So while I'm shooting this one location and showing you a huge variety of different photographs that I come up with, I'm going to be also talking about Skillshare and the beautiful premium membership that is on offer for you guys. If you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, business, technology, photography and more. I personally use Skillshare all the time to scrub up on my skills. To me, greatness requires constant learning. Right now, to my beautiful audience, Skillshare is offering two months worth of premium membership for free, meaning you get 60 days of learning anything your heart desires for no cost to you. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities and do the work you love. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. So grab your two months worth of free premium membership in the link in the bio. Enjoy my lovers. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> If you don't know yet, I've created a Facebook group for all amazing go-getters out there that want to discuss all things about life and how to improve yourself in life, including photography, videography, influencer stuff, digital nomad stuff, all of the things that I so often talk about on my channel. And if you want to become part of this group, all you need to do is sign up for two months free with Skillshare. I just need to see that you are really all about education because to me, education is key. It is the one for sure way to get you from where you are to where you want to be. So definitely sign up to Skillshare. First 500 people get two months free and send me a DM on Instagram that you have done so with the screenshot don't make me do multiple steps and i will um send you the link i look forward to seeing you in the facebook group my little rebel brainiacs okay so the little bit of truth is that these photos aren't taken by me <laughs> at the time i didn't know how to do a drone advanced selfies just yet so my boyfriend underneath my artistic expression i told him exactly how i wanted the photo to look he did take these photographs however you have seen now the video that i have done of advanced selfies from above and you know that i could create these myself right now so if I knew back then what I know now, there's absolutely 100% I would have been able to create those photographs. But anyway, I just wanted to put them at the beginning of the video so people would be like, what? She did that? But I bet you, and I'm going back to Bali soon, I will be creating more of these. You just watch. And if you don't believe me, why don't you follow me on Instagram and you'll be able to see my drone advanced selfies because I'll be posting them on there. So here is my Instagram uh, handle. And until next time, peace. <laughs>